Good morning to you. You doing Hi. with us? Hi. We got Good you. Good morning. Good to Good see you. Good morning. Thanks, thanks for being here Glad with to us. see you're a little more <laughs> animated than we saw you before. <laughs> so let's start with this quick question. Obviously, industries, all of them are evolving. We're seeing career changes yeah. all the time. So with many individuals hesitant for career changes, uh, fearing the unknown, uh, what are some, what's some advice you can offer someone looking to transfer into a new career field, something completely brand new? Yeah, so for my advice for people who are trying to make that career change is first do your research, right? Research what are the hot fields that companies are hiring for right now, analyze the skill sets that you already have, and look for opportunities to upskill, get a training to help you move into that new career path as soon as possible. I think it's really easy for us to all underestimate the value of, of whatever we're doing right now and whatever those skill sets we're developing from it. Mm -hmm. So how can people leverage their existing skills to maybe find another opportunity and don't have to start from scratch, which can be pretty hard to do? Mm -hmm. Right, I know, Melissa. So it's it's actually sometimes hard for people to find out what skills they have. So I teach a technique called the SWOT analysis, which is basically analyzing your strengths, your weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So leverage your strengths to help you move into that new career path. And whatever your weaknesses are, get some training, upskill quickly, mm. and move into a lucrative career path as soon as possible. You know, sometimes people transition into consulting, for an example, after they've become mm -hmm. an expert in whatever field they work in. That can be lucrative, though, quite often. How can someone really identify what they're good at and then maybe transition into a consulting career, for example? Yeah, so my quickest advice for anyone who's trying to move into consulting is analyze your experience and your accomplishments. So what are the things you've done and you're great at? When you identify those opportunities, look out for businesses in your industry that you can offer your services to at a fee. They can't employ a full-time staff. They can pay you a fee for your services, and that can be an easy way to kickstart your um, set to kickstart your consulting career as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Speaking of kickstarting, it can be really overwhelming to try to navigate all this on your own if you're trying something new. Any ideas of how to find maybe a mentor or a coach, someone to help navigate you through it all? Yes, I typically recommend LinkedIn where you can find mentors. I also recommend joining uh, online organizations, reaching out to your alumni associations as well, and attending industry events. That's where you can find potential mentors that can give you insights and guidance to help you with your new career path. So you hear the term or, or the statement quite often, your network is your net worth. Mm -hmm. How do you find the right yeah. network, the, the right people to surround yourself with so you can succeed and, and make sure they're succeeding as well because it's all about all of y'all. Yeah, it is. So when you join these organizations, you want to make sure that you're also giving value to that community. So volunteer, reach out to people within the community, provide value, find ways to get involved. And that way you can share insights with people and build your network as well. And don't be shy to actually say, hey, I'm looking for a job. Uh, in my new book called The Six Figure Business Analyst, I share more tips and strategies for that. And you can always find that on businessanalysisschool.com where you can actually find how to get into those organizations and network quickly. All right, that is good to know. Okay, so you mentioned the website. I know that you gave us five smart tips just now. If people had actually more questions, is that where you would refer them to head to that website or how can they reach out to you? Yes, you can find me on LinkedIn and on Eka. I'm very, very active on LinkedIn, like I shared earlier. Mm -hmm. And my website is businessanalysisschool.com. All right. You know, Eka, we appreciate you. Thanks for joining us here. And it was good to see your face. Glad we could, we could connect with you this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Dolan. Thank All you. Right. Happy New Year to you.